not too long ago in a trade I picked up cold steel trailhawk I've been messing around with it a lot uh, I really like it I think it's a very versatile tool um, a lot of people do a ton of mods to these and they make some really cool stuff I'm really not that talented so all I did was take the black paint off of it sharpen it up a little bit put some linseed oil on the hickory handle and call it good that's about all I did to mine oh, one other thing is I took that little Allen uh, set screw that's in there did away with that because to me that kind of ruins the versatility of this tool you don't have to worry about the head coming off these because of the, the how much larger this end is than the, the head on the or the eye on the tomahawk and that's the way the tomahawks have been used for years um, for me it's a very versatile tool once again I really like the hammerhead on it. it's beveled nice so it's not to mushroom out if you hit rocks or something with it a little bit um, great for pounding in steaks great for just smashing uh, hickory nuts walnuts stuff like that pretty versatile you can even use it for an impromptu anvil you know if you wanted to pound something head some uh, something else now, granted you can crack your eye doing that but it's one of the things you can do with it so that'll work um, once again really versatile great chopper some people have trouble with splitting in this technique so what's nice about this is I can take it give it one smack and pop that head off right now that I've got this head, now I've got this head and I can use it for an impromptu splitting wedge. Is it a perfect splitting wedge? No. But does it work pretty good? It works pretty well. So for people who don't like batoning, that's one option that they have. Something else you can do with it that I like to do a lot uh, is bow and drill stuff. Works real well if you want to use this for a chisel. Okay, so I can come in here. I got my notch after I burnt my hole or whatever. I can cut pretty decent notch just with that. So that works real well for a hand plane. I want to flatten this out a little bit. I can take and flatten my wood, make it a flatter surface if I need it. Uh, you want to make some feather sticks, depending on how sharp it is. It work pretty well too. Large shavings. One of the things that uh, I did to this one also is I sharpen the spine right back here because I want to be able to use it to throw some sparks. All right, so that's uh, it's not the best way, but it'll work uh, in, in a pinch. Also, the nice thing about a hawk is if you break the handle, you can always improvise one. Uh, these are pretty solid. Easiest way to bust one of those is by throwing it. So actually, it's, you might be better off to improv, improvise handles just to throw this thing. That way you're not going through these hickory handles. Because you will go through the hickory handles if you start throwing these things. But it's a lot of fun. One of my mentors told me at one time, he said, if you're going to carry an axe, you should know how to use just the head to make a handle. Well, I can do that with a straight handle, but with a hawk, it's a whole lot easier. And I'll find a piece of wood and see if we can uh, whip one of those out real quick. Also, a little bit later, uh, I'll be constructing an adze used for flattening wood or bowling out wood uh, whatever you want so once again pretty versatile tool and uh, we'll go ahead and show you some more stuff all right here is a piece of uh, honey locust that I just broke off with my hands I'm gonna see if we can get her shaped down we have a, a broken handle This isn't going to be a perfect handle. Be enough to get us by.
until we can make a nicer one. Trying to keep it flat on two sides. I see you, Goofy. That's start over, right? Alright, is that perfect? No, but it is going to get your job done. It's a lot better than doing it by hand, right? You can work this down a little bit more. You're closer up. Big thing is leaving this end large so it doesn't come through the eye. There we go. I'll try and get a piece and see if we can improvise an ads. All right, for an ads, all I did was got a, a piece of wood that had a branch coming off of it. It was a down branch, right? And then you see on this side better, straighten it out right there, made a little notch for that to go into notch this underneath and I did all the work with the head. I didn't take time to show everybody how I did that because people get bored about stuff. It's probably boring just watching me make a handle. But anyway, the ads is a pretty versatile tool. All right, we can use it for uh, uh, making, uh, in like this log right here if we want to, we can use it to make a, a depression in to uh, boil something using rocks. We use it to flatten this out, sit on better, uh, use it for an extreme condition like a dugout canoe or something. Anyway, you can see I'm not the best adsman in the world, but it'll work. So anyway, once again, all in all, pretty cool tool.